There is a new band in town. They're called Centrist Dad, and they made their debut this weekend in North London. Yes, that was ITV's Robert Peston singing a cover of the Sex Pistols. Keir Starmer and Ed Miliband were both in the audience. And though it was difficult to make out in that clip, Ed Balls was on drums. That was in a street party in North London yesterday, the York Rise Street Party. That was the debut gig of Centrist Dad <laughs> with um, Peston on uh, vocals. I was on the drums. Um, John Wilson, Chris Taylor on bass and guitar. We played the Ramones, the Clash... Uh, Did that Smiths. play not to go? You yeah. know why they call the centrist dads? You have to explain it. So Corbyn reference, isn't it? Um, that is not why. What, why we're are you calling it? Why? I'm just saying that you know that, that, that there were people who. Who, um, who did use that phrase right. um, to attack people who were sceptical of Jeremy Corbyn. We chose it because we are all dads. It is the most And centrist. we are all, you know... Yes, centrist. Yeah, that was the most centrist and, and dad how, thing I've ever And how many of you... Middle of the road. It's a very, very defensive reaction there from Red Bulls. I thought if you sort of named your, your band centrist dad, you're kind of embracing that idea, right? Yes, it was a phrase that was coined during the Corbyn years. And yes, you know, Ed Balls could say, yes, I'm celebrating that. We were right all along, blah, 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 blah. He's like, no, we're not called centrist dad because Corbynites call people centrist dad. No, it's completely, it's because we're centrists and we're dads. Mate, come on, it's a bit of, bit of fun, I thought. Ed Balls hasn't just been getting cosy with political editors, but also former chancellors. Welcome back. We had the inflation numbers this week. Everyone said that was good news for Sunak. But aren't we talking about the wrong thing? Is Westminster now focused on yesterday's issue? We know from the early 1990s, the last time we had that repossession, people losing their homes, the politics of that is that it lasts forever. What kind of idiot did this? If you are behind in the polls, you need to change course. I thought that put us on the wrong side of the argument. I bumped into Boris Johnson last night. Where? Something people don't talk so In politics. About. Always yes. Welcome to Political Currency, our new podcast with George Osborne and me, Ed Balls, in our fancy new home. We've got to talk about political autumn, the rows in both parties about tax and welfare ahead of the general election. Mm. Michael Gove saying. So we've got a lot of Ed Balls there, Ash. Um, Comments on either Centrist Dad, the new band, or whatever their new podcast is called. What's it called? Um, political, political Currency, I suppose a pun on money and politics. Um, are you particularly interested by either? Will you be uh, subscribing to either Centrist Dad or Political Currency on Spotify? I mean, look, let's first take the podcast. It's just a complete joke that these are two individuals that have made great hay about how much they disagree with each other. Whereas, in fact, Ed Balls, when he was uh, up against George Osborne as his opposite number, who was a Chancellor of the Exchequer, he accepted an awful lot of both the austerity framing and austerity policies. They're both people who are ideologically opposed to the socialist left. And they're both people who have embarked on, you know, various career second acts in order to launder their reputations. Ed Balls through light entertainment, George Osborne through well-paid speaking gigs at J.P. Morgan, uh, editing a newspaper, and then some more well-paid after-dinner speaking gigs for J.P. Morgan. Um, so you couldn't put a you know, Rizzler paper between the two of them, let alone say that there's some kind of meaningful political contestation. It is just liberal technocracy, the podcast. And sure, that might be very interesting to some people, but I just, I just don't think it is. It's just not interesting to me. Sorry. And as for centrist dads, I don't want to begrudge anyone their midlife crisis, but when you see people who have positioned themselves as roadblocks to social change in this country, singing, I am an anarchist, it's just kind of sickening, you know, and to not then um, be able to, you know, even be in on the joke. You know, to get defensive, I just think you're the thinnest skin, like most rancid vibes people on the planet. And, you know, they were all at the one festival. I just wish the rest of the streets had gotten blocked off. and That could have been their open air prison forever and we wouldn't have to deal with them. <laughs> 